this video starts by showing how quick it is to install Asana to go, but then the rest of it will show how to update the options to configure the update dates and triage dialog. So to start off with, uh, go to asana to gocom that's the number two, and then just click Get Asana to Go, that goes to the Chrome Web Store. Just hit Add to Chrome, then Add Extension, and that's it. It's there. So I'm going to just click that X, and then you can uh, click on this uh, little puzzle piece here and pin Asana to Go so that you'll see it in the menu here. And when you go to an Asana page, it'll light up, and it looks like that. And last thing, just hit refresh after you've installed, just to make sure that Asana to go will catch the new version that's installed there. Now, Asana to go is installed, and you can see it here. That's the main part of Asana to go. But what we're uh, looking at is the update dates and triage dialog. And there may be one more step to do, depending on when you're watching this. Uh, we may still be in beta and I may not have uh, released the Asana to go update that has the uh, shortcut uh, binding in it already. So what you can do is try typing control shift E and if nothing happens like nothing just happened for me just go to Chrome colon slash slash extensions and then click the hamburger menu keyboard shortcuts Find Asana to go. Click the edit next to enter dates triage. Click in that input field and type control shift E. And that's it. Now when you go back to Asana and type control shift E, then you'll see that uh, date dialog. Please let me know if you feel that the shortcut key conflicts with any existing shortcuts that you have or you know are common because I intend to use that one. Um, but it's easy to change uh, just the way I showed you if it, if it ever does cause a conflict for you. And that's it. Asana to go and that dialog are ready to go. Also, except if you want to configure the add to projects chooser. And that's uh, what I'm going to show you next. So let me start by showing you that empty chooser. If I type shift control E and come down here to the add project section, it says there's nothing to select. You have to go into the options page. So there's two ways to go into the options page. You can either right click and do options from the menu, or you can just click and do options right from Asana to go. So these are all the Asana to go options. But the only ones we're going to focus on today are these top two tables. So the one on the left is um, the My Task Sections drop-down. So you can see that's all configured already. That'll take on not these exact values, but ever, whatever values you have for uh, the sections that you have in your My Tasks. It'll set these up automatically, and it should be OK. But what we're going to start with now is this right side, which is the second chooser menu. That's the Add to Projects and Sections, the multi-homing drop-down. You'd use that you know, if you have a few projects that you often multi-home to, and you want to set this up one time here right now, and then it'll be available to you from then on in the chooser. So you just have to do this once. And all of what I'm showing is written up right in here in this uh, very fine print, but I'll go through it to make it a little bit easier to see. So first, let's say that I've got a weekly staff meeting project that I multi-home tasks to regularly. So I want to go ahead and add that to the chooser menu. So I'll just type in weekly staff meeting here, and then I'm going to go to that project in Asana, just clicking on, say, the list view. And I'm going to just select this number, which represents the ID of the project, in the URL. And I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to go back and paste it under the project ID. And that's going to be all I really need to set that up uh, for that entry in the chooser menu. Now in the demo video, I showed a pending project, multi-homing to a pending project. 
So let's go ahead and take a look at that here. I'm going to just put pending in here. I'm going to do the same thing I just did. Come over to my pending project and say list view. Copy that and then paste it back in place. But we're going to go on to add a couple more values uh, because this pending project um, it has weekly and monthly sections in there. So let's say we want to add both of those. So here's pending weekly and then I'm going to add another one for pending monthly. And they're going to have the same project IDs. I'm just going to paste those in here. But how do we get these optional section IDs to, to set those up? So that's, uh, that's a little bit uh, more geeky, but it's actually really easy to do. You just go to this URL, developers.asana.com slash explorer. As soon as you, you get there, uh, click that authorization. It's just authorizing through your Asana login. Choose sections. Choose get projects sections. Scroll down, paste that project ID that you already had. Click submit. And there are all the sections. Here's the weekly one with its number. I'm going to grab that and I'm going to paste it in the weekly. And I'm going to come down to the monthly one. I'm going to grab that and paste it in to the monthly and then hit save. Now, after you change one of those two tables in options, come back to your sauna and refresh to make sure it uh, picks up those new values. And now when we look, we should see, yep, there they are. We've just configured the add to project chooser. And if you end up changing or adding uh, sections in your My Tasks and you want to get uh, Asana to go up to date with those, then you can just do it exactly the same way I just showed you. Ignore this second number over here. Just pick up that number. That's um, the kind of the project ID for My Tasks. Come over here and you see we don't actually use the project ID here, but that's the one that you're going to want to paste up here. I'll replace it here and submit. And I've got all the sections, the IDs for all the sections that are currently in my My Task. So if you make changes, uh, particularly if you add ones, then you can do that same update here deleting rows or reassigning the uh, shortcuts the way you like them and then hitting save at the end. And I'm really interested to get your feedback and anything you want to let me know about Asana to go and this feature, uh, just head over to asanatogo.com, click contact and just send me your message and I'm looking forward to hearing back. Thanks for watching.